Have you heard about TrueNorth.bet? Yes. Built from the ground up. Where did you hear about it? You. Ah, there it is. Hey, it's built from the ground up to be the credible, dependable, safe gaming experience that Canadians are looking for. TrueNorth.bet focuses exclusively on Canada and Canadian players. Jesse, Steve, what does it say on your passport? Uh, Canada. Right. It's a, no, but it also said nationality. Oh, What's Canada. It Mine's a Canadian. Canadian. And there's so like, a, like a reindeer. Built for you. True North Dot Bet also takes pride in having the best customer service on the market. Professional, efficient, built for you. Visit True North Dot Bet slash SDPN. It's probably a caribou. Does this not put what Tampa Bay did with Kucherov into perspective? Because I mean. everyone was like, oh, they just, they just tucked away Kucherov for like a couple months and saved him for the playoffs. And... I think I made the point and several other people were like, okay, but they, that means they didn't have Kucherov, which means, which means they had to make the playoffs without Kucherov. And they still finished first. And they, yeah, like they still killed it. It's easy. Like, it's not like most, no, I think they were second or third, but it's not like teams can just take their best player or one of their best players throw them on LTIR and be like, mission accomplished. (laughs) Tampa has that mentality, though, and that's what uh, is I think has led them to those back-to-back chips because, like, last season when they had a COVID outbreak, I believe, I forget which team they were playing. It might have been the Stars because they were in that weird division uh, where they played with, I think it's 10 forwards or something like that and five defensemen they were short like three guys you remember when all the rosters when yes. you have the COVID and they be I, th- I believe they were down to like 15 skaters total oh. and they won that game of course they did and and um i think it was freeman who reported like when he talked to them post game and was talking to the, the situation around that their mentality going into that was oh this is a fun challenge Mm-hmm. Let's yep. see if we can win this game down three guys compared to the other team. Mm-hmm. Let this is going to be a fun game. Oh, thank you for waking us up. Now we got something to play for tonight. It just won't be another game in March or February. We have a challenge tonight. I'm going to wake up and play extra hard tonight. So Tampa is so crazy with that mindset, and that's why they're super dangerous here versus Elite. I uh, oh, oh what? Oh, well, just. We want to see the Leafs achieve greatness. Yeah, and we do. what a privilege to be able to take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Seriously. Well, if you want to be great, you got to beat the best, right? You want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And they are the reigning best. The You know what? Uh, like, Leaf fans, a lot of them have been asking me, like, who would you rather, Tampa or Boston? Last year, the Leafs got the Habs. We lost the privilege to ask that question ever again. Mm-hmm. Who would you rather? You got the ultimate who would you rather and lost. Everyone, every team in the NHL would have picked the Habs. Are the and Montreal Canadiens the worst team to ever make the playoffs? They it might be the worst. Re- they might record. be the worst team to make the Stanley Cup final. by record. By record, no, because teams from uh, the eighties, like when oh, when yeah. over half the league was getting in. No, the Leafs had like sub five hundred records in goal. Oh, when there was twenty one yeah. teams. But if we're okay. talking about in the in the in the most like. Let's yeah. say cap era, but post, yeah, well, yeah. Let's say in the post, cap era, they must have been right because the well, they Canadian finished eighteen, division. right? So I, I no, I that's think, that's bubble year. When, the, when no bubble year, they finished twenty third or twenty fourth. Twenty fourth, oh, jeez, they were twenty fourth, <laughs> and uh, so the last they were the last of the it. cutoff teams, right? Right, and, and uh, last year was eighteenth yeah. overall in the standing. Yeah, that's brutal. And and uh, I'll I'll grant you that they didn't get to play American teams, but I don't think it would have been much better. <laughs> might have been uh, worse. <laughs> it might have been worse. Uh, uh, and the Leafs still lost to them. You're right, Steve. But I think they've there's lost, they've lost. You can't ask that ever again. No. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm excited for this series, though. I'm really excited for this Tampa series because, to me, like, you know, I, I think there is that bit of, you can't be a Leaf fan and not feel a little bit like, how is this going to go? But you, you feel that going into every playoffs anyway. And I, to me, it's like, like in, consecu- in consecutive years, Boston, Boston, heartbreaking, both of them. Like, the, the Washington series was not heartbreaking. It was, oh, it's nice to be here. Yes. B- Wash- uh, Boston, Boston, heartbreaking. 2019. Columbus, heartbreaking. Be. Montreal, heartbreaking. Oh. And at this point, you're like, okay, let's try the other thing. And I think that they're starting to feel that. I felt like when Jason Spezza said, hey, that Montreal series really, really stuck in our craw. Like, yeah. I can understand, first off, a, a not particularly well coached team against Bruce Cassidy losing in game seven both years. I can understand that. I can understand a couple of really bad games in each of those series from Freddie. And I got, I know, I know Lee fans think I'm too hard on Freddie, but 
there was there were games in that in that series where he was unstoppable, and then there were games where it's like he can't stop anything. Right. And then you go to Columbus, a series they absolutely should not have lost. By the way, the Leafs didn't make the playoffs that year. No. Um, technically, technically yeah. not. And then Montreal, <laughs> you have that devastating injury to Tavares in Game One, but you need to be able to overcome that. And they did. They did. And ah! Ah! so it's to me, I feel like they're like, okay, I'm like, I am fucking done with this. And, and if you look at it from a pressure perspective, I want to ask you guys this, because what I was saying earlier, Florida and Washington, Florida's got the pressure on them. They've lost in the first round. They didn't make the, they haven't made the second round ever since like they went to the finals in 96. That's the last time that Eastern Conference so. semi was the last time they won a playoff series. Yeah, they won, uh, I think they won their qual. No, but that doesn't count. Might, That's not. I playoffs. think they might have lost to the Islanders. Okay, we probably did. I can't remember if so, it was their qualifier or the first round. So the Florida Panthers have all the pressure on them. Who's got the pressure on them in this series? Because Toronto obviously has the the the, the first round losses, but then Tampa is a is a two time Stanley Cup winner. I would say, and they're very good. I would say Tampa is both the favorite and has the least pressure. <laughs> you give Tampa the the favorite. Yeah, they're the back-to-back cup champs. Everyone, the okay, the play, as soon as the playoffs start, you crumple up the standings and you throw them in the garbage. Like, everyone knows who the favorite is. It's the guys who won the cup back-to-back years. Like, why are we all playing games here? I know it's a new season and everything begins anew. Why are we playing games? It's the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're the favorites. Let's be honest here. I'm not. I'm not saying the Leafs are screwed or I don't expect them to win. I'm just. Let's you're, call you're it giving, what it is. You're They're giving the weight to the favorite. Okay. Jesse, absolutely. do you agree with that take? Yeah. And like to answer your question, I couldn't even find like a, a pressure point for Tampa. Like what's what's the pressure for them? If they lose, they go, uh, uh, I guess I'll stare at my two rings all summer. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go watch tape of the boat parade. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's no pressure for them. I but, think there's a little bit. I do think. That yeah, they, what's, what's the other side? It's a, it's a lot. <laughs> you know? like, I'm oh, just saying, we're going to tear apart the entire team. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> potentially. Which like, I don't think the least would do. I don't know. Uh, Depends how it goes. The Willie might be taking a trip to the moon, you know? Yeah. Oh, come on. Him off in a rocket ship. He no way. No way. <laughs> like, he showed up big last year. He'll show up this year. I believe it. Okay, we lost in the first round. We got to tear it all apart. Wait, sorry. Who did we lose to again? The team that it could potentially win three cups in a row. I don't know. That kind of sounds like you played a really good team. But the context uh, mm-hmm. of the Leafs is different. 